Welcome back to our channel. I'm Teacher Cedric, and today we are going to look at another MMOS question from the year 2016, Special Round. And this time we have a travel problem. So, two friends, Linda and Samuel, they jog to and fro along a straight road between two points X and Y at speed 3.5 for Linda and 4.5 for Samuel. And if they meet each other for the first time at the point A, and the second time at point B, which is 200 meters up away from A, then find the distance between X and Y. Hmm. Let's see how we can approach this problem. But first of all, let me just clear up this screen so that we only have this diagram over here. Now, we know Linda will be over here at the point X, and then Samuel will be over here at the point Y. Now, before you tackle any travel problem, it is very essential to first draw out the journey. So let's draw the journey. We know that when they meet for the first time at the point A, this would be the distance traveled by Linda, and this would be the distance traveled by Samuel. And after that, they will continue travel, continue with their journey toward X and Y, so that this time Samuel would travel this path, and then Linda would travel this path. And after that, they'll make a U-turn, and then they'll meet each other again at point B. So this will be how the journey looks like. Now, how are we going to find the distances of all these journeys over here? Let's see. The question tells us that the speed of Linda is 3.5, and the speed of Samuel is 4.5. And what we can tell from here? Very good. We can find out that the speed ratio between Linda and Samuel will be 3.5 to 4.5. Which, if you don't like to work with decimals, we can of course turn this into 7 to 9, which is the same. Now, when they meet for the first time at this point A over here, since they started at the same time, it will take them the same amount of time to reach the point A. Now, under the same amount of time, if the speed ratio is 7 to 9, then what is the distance ratio? It will also be 7 to 9. If you're faster, then you can move a bit further. If you are a bit slower, then you have to travel a little bit shorter. And therefore, we see that under the same amount of time, the speed ratio is equal to the distance ratio. Therefore, we know that the ratio between this path and this path over here would be 7 to 9, which I'll call them 7u and 9u, u for units. And if this distance over here is 7u, then this also will be 7u, and this will be 9u, and then this one will be 7u, this one will be 200, and this one will be 9u minus 200, because this entire path will be 9u. Now, with all these distances over here, our next job would be to find out what is u. So let's see how we can find u. Hmm, we know that under the same amount of time, the speed ratio is always equal to the distance ratio. Now, which journey over here would also take the same amount of time? Very good. Now, from the point A, once they meet each other, and then they continue the journey towards point B, we know that this journey over here to this journey over here would take the same amount of time. So that this distance, this entire distance traveled by Linda to this entire distance traveled by Samuel would also be 7 to 9. So we can write down that 9u plus 9u minus 200, which is this distance over here traveled by Linda, to 7u plus 7u plus 200, which is this distance traveled by Samuel, would also be 7 to 9 which we can simplify this into 18u minus 200, 14u plus 200. Now, how are we going to, for, how are we going to solve for u? Ah, very good. We can use the property of the ratio, which says that the two numbers over here, the product of the middle two numbers over here, we call them the means, would always equal to the products of the outer two numbers over here, we call them the extremes. So, we see that we can take the product of these two numbers would equal to the product of these two numbers, and then we will get this equation over here. Now it is fairly simple to solve for u, and I believe you can do that. You'll find that u is equal to 50 meters. Now, 
Having found that u equals 50 meters, how am I going to find the total distance between x and y? Brilliant! We know that this distance is 7u, this distance is 9u, so that the entire distance between x and y will be 7 plus 9, 16u. And with u equals 50, we find that the total distance between x and y is just 800 meters. And there you go. We have solved this travel problem from the Amos Special Round 2016. Now, it is worth remembering that most of the travel problems that you have seen in the exam can be solved by making use of the ratio. And under the same amount of time, the speed ratio is always equal to the distance ratio. And if under the same amount of distance, then the speed ratio would be the reverse, would be the opposite of the time ratio. We're going to look into this later on our channel. Now, that's it for today. Now, since the MMOS exam is coming soon, on 27th of June, we're going to have MMOS mock exam on 14th of June at our school address, and it is free of charge so that you can sign up on our Kangaroo Study app. And then, this mock exam will be followed with a review lesson where we'll go through all the challenging questions in this mock exam on 16th of June and the time over here. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the NMOS mock exam or NMOS questions, make sure you join our WhatsApp study group. And you can also download our app to learn more about our courses and you can book a one-to-one -one free consultation session with our teacher so that we can design a study plan for your kids. Now that's it for today. I'm Teacher Cedric, and I'll see you next time.